Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and as I always say, everyone in between, you know how we do, grab your vices, chill out, and let's get straight to it. You know, this is episode seven of Straight Forward with Miss B, and I have my um, trusted friend here, A.G., he's hey, um, on with us as well. What's going on tonight, everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody, what's up? What's up? What's up? Um, you know, thank you to everybody. Let me just first start off by saying thank you to everybody that's been tuning in to the podcast and everybody who has been, you know, subscribing and following the streaming platforms, whichever one is your favorite. Um, also don't forget we are on YouTube as well. So if you want to subscribe, we're straightforward with Miss B on YouTube. And you can always um, subscribe to the channel and set your notifications so you will know when um when a podcast co- goes up. And um yeah, so I wanted to just start off, you know, thanking you guys. I definitely appreciate, as always, for the continuous support. How was your weekend, G? What's going on? Our uh, weekend was long, but it was it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I went to uh, seen new addition down there, mm-hmm. Bobby Brown. Though, came in town. So and you and your week. wife go y'all go to a concert every week. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I was just at the uh, what was that? The hip hop legends oh, tour. Yeah. They falling like that, you know. <laughs> no, they just built a new arena, so they, you know they got some popping every week. Damn no. Oh, okay, okay. That's well, we getting all the action right now. Uh, well, yeah, and then it's it's almost you know springtime and summertime. That's when these concerts and stuff start popping up and. You know, shit be going on every every week. You know, people got to make up for the time that, you know, we lost during the pandemic, especially the, you know, music artists when they wasn't right. able to tour and stuff. So we probably would definitely be seeing a lot of concerts and tours um, this year for sure. Um, yeah, what I, my weekend, you know, wasn't my week, rather. Nothing really major happened. I know um, the um, NBA All-Star Weekend happened and uh seems like they was having a lot of fun fun out there and uh they was at cleveland right yeah i forgot all about that happened yeah that was a really exciting game one of the best i've seen oh wow Steph Curry went, went, berserk, went berserk out there. right did you see the um what is it my favorite the um slam dunk contest well it wouldn't have been your favorite this year man that thing was so hard that was like the worst one i ever seen Oh wow! So they weren't creative and nothing like that. They done slacked up already. Yeah, they went not hitting their dunks and they like trying to dunk, do the same dunk like four, five times and still don't hit it. Man, it was mm-hmm. the worst. It was the worst one ever. Oh my God, that's like you didn't miss nothing. If you if you missed it, you didn't miss nothing. Right. <laughs> 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 well, I know what one thing that everybody should not have missed this week is the Tory Lanes and Megan the Stallion. Who child? It was a lot going on, going on the last couple of days. Did you get a chance to see what was popping? I'm so tired of them too, man. Who shot who? Who shot who shot Megan? Right. Right. Who shot you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the mystery, the hip hop mystery. Who shot you? I know that's what everybody has been. You know, for those, just a backstory on it. Tory Lanez is a you know pretty uh, celebrated singer from Canada, but of course he resides here in the U.S. And Megan The Stallion, she is a female hip-hop artists out of Texas. And at one point, they call themselves kind of dating. That was maybe like two or two and a half years ago they were dating. And then all of a sudden, Megan Thee Stallion, a situation happened. They went out to, I believe, Kylie Jenner's house. She had a pool party, and everybody was drunk and having a good time. Tory Lanez and Megan, and Megan at this time was also with her best friend. Um, I believe her best friend name is Kelsey, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, they was in the, um, uh, I don't know if it was a limo or whatnot, 
or uber black and next thing you know in the news everybody's saying megan the stallion got shot so it's a whole you know whole whole scandal going on with these two so come to find out throughout all this time megan the stallion since she's under was it rock nation rock nation i believe is her management but Megan Thee Stallion took the opportunity to, without without anybody, the public knowing exactly what exactly f- truly happened during that incident, Megan Thee Stallion basically took that opportunity to kind of use it as, um, you know, leverage to, I would say, partially help continue to build her career. Um, she basically became, at one point, the face of, you know, like being the victim, a female victim of, you know, some form of abuse. So she was making her runs in the press, you know, being on the cover of magazines and telling her story. And Tory Lanez was basically just shunned because, you know, the public at that point thought he was the one that shot her. And we was like, okay, why would he shoot her? You know, what's the reason behind that? So this week, Lord... It's been a while um, since they actually, you know, the court hearings and everything started. So it actually, they had a, uh, I guess, a preliminary hearing. But that hearing actually is pushed now, I believe, to April, I believe the judge said. Um, But a lot of shit was coming out this week. Tori and Megan was going back and forth on the internet, um, tweeting, tweeting tweeting up a storm. Did you catch some of those tweets? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So, Tori, Tori didn't apologize. We don't know what he apologized for, though. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> so, Ma- yeah, Megan, Megan posted, yeah, yeah. right, exactly. Megan the Stallion had posted a screenshot of a text message. From Tory, basically, he was in the message apologizing for something. He didn't specify in that message what it was that he was apologizing for. So Megan Thee Stallion shared this text message screenshot basically to the world of social media. And everybody's just been going up in the uproar. So Tory Lanez basically, you know, responded to her, was like, I wasn't, I wasn't apologizing for, you know, supposedly shooting you in the foot. I was apologizing for fucking fucking your best friend and and you at the same time. (laughs) (laughs) You put a flip on that shit, dude. Right. (laughs) I'm like, what? Now you don't know what to believe. <laughs> you don't know what to believe. This is has this has been like a hip hop mystery for the past two years. Amongst every, we don't know exactly what happened that night. She got shot in the foot. Who gonna be the witness and tell the whole story? I don't think they got one. They do got a witness. The best friend. It, it was Tori's body. It was a bodyguard in the car with them. And also Kelsey, the best friend of Megan the Stallion. These two, and they they're definitely gonna have to take the stand. You already know they're gonna make them do that. I'm saying what I'm saying, because I ain't heard no statement from Kelsey. At the beginning, like a year or so ago, Kelsey would do her little subliminals and say, Keep me out of it, blah, blah, blah. Um, this was a time when Megan and Kelsey basically were no longer best friends. They basically just fell out over Tory Lanez, you know, mm-hmm. point blank she period. Said they ain't fall out for but, she said they ain't do that like that. That ain't the reason why they fell out. That I, That's why they fell out. That ain't what she said. So we don't know what to believe. <laughs> we don't know what to believe. But the funny thing is, I think Kelsey may have been the one who pulled the trigger. I think. I think, you know, she might have been the one that shot that night at Megan. Megan spared her since she was a former best friend, somebody she grew up with, you know, and everything, and just uh-uh. and, and put it on Tori. Uh-uh. What you mean, uh-uh? Shoot her and spare her. 
<laughs> because y'all, you, you get it, you man. If you two, if two girls arguing over a dude, I mean, yeah, she probably liked Tori, and then Megan was pushing up on Tori. And yeah, this did shot me. And and, and I remember they both to stay and be friends. Then, if that's the case, no, I remember Kelsey at one time, and this my memory is vague on this, um, but. I think I remember her saying something online to the extent of when they stopped being friends after this situation, I believe Kelsey did say that Megan may have had a habit of going after her as far as like, you know, talking to dudes that she used to talk to. So that was her boyfriend first. He was fucking Yeah, Tori was messing with the best friend first. And then, oh. then him and Megan start fooling around. They all was together. I'm sure Tor- Tori probably thought he was going to have a, a good little threesome with them, too, if he could, you know, yeah. fin- finesse his way into that. But, yeah, and then they got drunk and feelings started talking, I mean, coming out, and they got to arguing, arguing in the car. And then next thing you know, she was shot. She was shot in the foot. But then remember when they took her to the hospital, it wasn't like it was like a, you know, if I'm if I'm pointing at your foot, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like that. It almost like it was grazed. It, it wasn't like no bullet fra- fragments or nothing like that, I don't think. She um, ain't limping. She was limping for a minute. I remember her having on the, you know, the little bandage and everything on her foot. So but basically you saying, okay. Megan the stag, this how Megan thing. Okay, bitch, you shot me, but I took your man, so I deserve it. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you slide. I'm gonna let you slide because you and I have the longer history than me and Tori. Like we not gonna be friends no more. But I, I'm not about to put you in jail. You see what I'm saying? So the bitch just said she don't know who shot her and left it alone. Why she put that man in that shit? Because she was hurt. I mean, she had feelings for Tori. She was hurt. And who else to put it on? And then, like I said, she Megan got Megan got a little machine behind her with Rock Nation. So Rock Nation has been, been down this lane before with their artists when Rihanna and Chris Brown had that situation. Man, that's some bullshit right there. Mm-hmm. Don't put me in that shit if I ain't do it. <laughs> okay, how bad you hurt? But you Tori didn't do it. Tori said... Tori said that the DNA, the DNA, which has been printed up and it's in the court documents, the DNA that they found was inconclusive, meaning that they can't, yeah. They can't say whose it is. Yeah. It's inconclusive. And Tori's like, Tori has been funny to me because Tori has been sitting around these years, you know, they Spotify and everybody taking his music offline. You know, he's been really going. They took him down through there. But one thing about Tory, he has still remained to still give his fans content, you know, put out music for his fans. And he was like, this girl has used the opportunity to basically lie on me all this time. But now, you know, basically who's going to have the last laugh in this situation? Who shit? You got fucked over for a couple of years, so huh? right. And like you finna, they finna just go and spend all that money you lost in the last two or three years, and, and, and let you get it all back. You might start getting money again, but shit, that money gone. Yeah, that money gone. But you know, it's good that he's been able to kind of somewhat stay afloat. You know what I'm saying? During all of this, even when people turn, you know, yeah, yeah your yeah. industry people turn their backs. Um, on you and everything, so it's good to see him um still staying afloat. On a lie. On a lie. But soon, soon we will find out who was telling the truth and who was lying. So what if it does come out that Megan the Stallion lied on Tory all this time? What do you think is going to happen to her? 
anything. Yeah, she ought to get the same thing treatment that he getting, if not worse. Yeah, I think hey, so nah, too. Because that they put ass in jail. Like I said, t- I mean. You know, I mean, she didn't really have a choice to, and it, it, it was probably the best thing to do. Sometimes you just have to take an opportunity and use it to your advantage. And like I said, the last couple of years, she kind of been that face of, you know, abuse. Well, and you think that shit really blowed her, took her on over the top, too? I think it did. I think it did. I think it did. Because I like Megan Thee Stallion. I think Megan can rap. Do I think she's the best female rapper? You know, could she be in that category? No, but that's, you know, that's just my, I come from the old school. I come from the Foxy Browns, the Little Kims, the Lauren Hills, the E's, the MC Lights, the Mia X. You know what I'm saying? That's the crop I come from. So to me, you know, but maybe she is one of the greats of this particular generation. But it would be it will it's gonna be real funny when we find out exactly what transpired. We really would it's gonna be it's gonna be a trip. Huh. But I was thinking more about the situation and let me look at here. I just wanted to pull up the tweets that Tori did from today. Let's see. Mm. He said, they used this narrative to separate black women from black men. They made it so the protection of black women, of a black woman, suddenly meant the unprotecting of black man. It's funny because it was right when, for the first time, we were all somewhat standing together for the same cause. So he basically saying all of this happened during back Black Lives Matter movement, when we were marching for Ahmaud, you know, Amar Berry and all of these, you know, black men and sisters was getting killed by the police and, you know. Yeah. All of this transpired during that time. And then he went on to say, they lied to someone. They lied to someone I thought was my friend. They coerced her into digging a hole that's now going to look crazy to the whole community that she riled up. She is not at fault. They are. And he's talking about Rock Nation and everybody who's supporting her, basically. And it's sad because they truly don't care what happens to her when it's all said and done. <coughs> and he ain't lie about that. Shoot, these labels and shit, they don't give a fuck about these artists. And they livelihoods. You don't think they care? They need to get some more check out of. Uh, that's my point. That's all they they out for is just whatever you know profits and whatever they could generate off of her talent and her likeliness. But outside of that, they don't really care. No, nah, they don't give a fuck about that part. Right. Nah. So that's what he's saying. He t- he telling. The, all of us that it's sad because, you know, the people that standing up for her really don't give a shit about her at the end of the day. Tori be speaking that shit though sometimes. I want to see the movie. Uh, you think it's gonna be a movie? <laughs> yeah. You have to show us something. <laughs> you think it's gonna be a movie? <laughs> The best, but they this whole subject got me thinking about just friendships and when it comes to relationships. I always say that people, especially females, should not fall out over a dude. Especially, you know. See, that's what they fall out about. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's unfortunate. <laughs> they what they do. It's unfortunate that females fall out about dudes. And I hate that. I hate that. I really do hate that. Because at the end of the day, it's the woman that holds the power. We hold the power. I think y'all hold the power. No, we do hold the power. We do hold the power. We hold the power. 
Don't get it. Oh, don't let me. Okay, so let me. Am I talking to a male chauvinist? Are you misogynistic on this phone? I'm telling you the truth. You don't want to hear it. You what you mean? They keep falling down over each other, over the guys, ain't it? So um, that's the problem. They can't control it. They got the power. But they, they don't know how to. Yeah, they don't know how to utilize their power. <laughs> right, right. Put let's put it that way. They don't know how to okay. utilize the power, and I just hope, you know. Have I ever, let me just think back. Have I been in a situation? Yes, I've been in a situation. This is in my younger years. When I was in college. Y'all mad at each other. Yeah, I, me, and, me and a girl that we was cool. Now, we wasn't best friends. We wasn't like Megan and her friend. We was cool, and we fell out over a dude. And I remember calling <clears throat> I remember calling when I found that I, you know, I'm one of those people. I'm, <laughs> I'm very intuitive, and I don't want to say people names. Yeah, I don't want to say I don't. I, I protect the innocent. I don't want to say people names. Yeah, that one made me say it. I wonder who you. <laughs> you might need to text me who you thinking. <laughs> I had to let you know if you thinking about the right person or not. Because I don't know who you thinking about. I only been I in one situation talking. like this. No, I was just talking. Mm-hmm. You know, I was around at that time. Yeah, you was around that time. <laughs> you was around that time. You might know who I'm talking about. But, yeah, so anyway, it was this dude. And I was dating a dude. But then I get to see them be together sometime, you know, on the yard, on the college campus, walking around. So I'm peeping game. And then at some at one point I was just I just flat out asked. I asked her. I said, What's up? I said, You you fucking with so and so? And they didn't really give me no answer. They didn't flat out give me no answer. They kind of was like, ah. We got a class together. But I had already peak peak game, but see that but that's just me, my personality. When I peep shit like that, I don't like to I'm not hanging around nobody that's trying to sleep with my man. I'm just not. Oh yeah. And especially if we not best friends now. We if we all kind of you know congregate in the same little circles and stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hang out from time to time, go to the club, stuff like that. Okay, that's cool, but I don't know. I just can't. I can't I can't mess with somebody, man. Now, if I dated somebody and then later on down the line somebody that I know that is one of my friends and I found out and they say, oh, I dated him, too, or something, you know, something like that. Yeah. That was way after me. I can't do nothing about that. It just, it is, it is what it is. We dated the same dude. But I'm not going to sit around and, even then, I'm not going to sit around and talk about my experience and compare, you know, <laughs> compare it to your, you know, to the other girl's experience. That's so lame. I'm not doing that, but. All y'all females out here who be sleeping with your friends, man. Y'all some trifling assholes. Y'all trifling. <laughs> y'all <laughs> some <laughs> some good arrests. Y'all some, get whatever you deserve. Get whatever you deserve. Do you ever be in that type of predicament? No, Have you no, been with a girl no, and you had you know one of her friends trying to hook up with you? I'm too scared. I'm too scared of getting that's too close for comfort for me. I'm one of them type, but I know plenty of people that'll go right for it. Right. Right. So would you blame who are you blame in that situation? Uh, oh shit. Would you blame the dude and also whoever the friend is? Uh, you got to see who, 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 you know what I'm saying? You really going to blame both of them, really, because who brought it up, then the other one had to go for it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. But 
Who are you gonna blame the most? You know what I'm saying? You gonna be like, fuck it. You gotta say fuck with one of them, or they're just gonna quit fucking with both of them. Right. But who do you think, if you were a female, and you were in that predicament, and you was in a relationship, and, you know, one of your homegirls was fucking up on, you know, on your man or trying, even trying to just pursue him, you know? They ain't even got to fuck, but just trying to pursue him, like, who you going to be mad at? You'll be mad at her. Again, if he came on to her for giving them the, the, you know what I'm saying, the opportunity, and then if it was me getting on the dude, then I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's what I did. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's how they did this shit. They wouldn't approach your man. Mother don't give a fuck about you no way. Fuck them. Right. Right. And then there's so many men out here who just let, who would just let it slide. Not let it slide, but they'd be down for it, you know? Yeah. Oh, shit, if you want to do it, I, that's how I go. If she, you want to do that? For real? Right. They might not even been thinking about it. <laughs> be my... S- until, you, until you said you wanted to do it and shit. Then all of a sudden, shit, I, I, I want to do it too. <laughs> shit, yeah, that's a mess. You yeah, you, you right about that. You right about that. Well, friendships, yeah, friendships and dating can sometimes be very complicated things. Um, you know, especially like like for me, well, I, yeah, I don't do this. Now, I might joke about like talking about men. You know, female us females, we have conversations in our in our group chats and stuff like that. We just talk about men. We might talk about, you know, the male penis sizes and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you shouldn't talk about that type of stuff around everybody. Because people talking about the wrong thing. Yeah, people be people be plotting. People be plotting. You say what? That's what they be saying. Let me go see what that's talking about. What she keep on telling me about. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Let me see what that's in for. <laughs> Let me see what that's in for. Yeah, definitely. Y'all females out there, the trifling females, stop being trifling in, in 2022 and beyond. It's not cute. It's not becoming of you. It, it's It's so not, you know, part of being a classy lady. So you definitely need to stop, you know, stop messing around with your friends, man. That just that it's that's lame. Go find your own man. That's all you need to do is go find your own man and you'll be straight. <laughs> you will be straight. Or you could just wait. Wait a couple years. Maybe you and your friend will stop being friends. <laughs> and then and then they'll stop dating at some point or get divorced at some point and then hey then you might have your opportunity you might you know finesse your way in there like man you know i feel like you know we we kind of was in the same circles and i don't know i just kind of felt like this chemistry between us Listen to that y'all. You got that shit playing. <laughs> you got that shit. You got that river ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, baby. Oh, my God. What a man supposed to do. Uh, like, okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're mad with the man so quickly. Y'all be flying that shit all along. <laughs> right. All along. <laughs> All along, you already already had your eyes set. You already knew what you was going to do once that opportunity came. But you can, sometimes you hear about stories where, you know, friends or friends or friends end up getting, you know, getting together years later. And they. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, I know a guy, he was married to a girl and. Best thing you know, she didn't quit him, and she married the best friend. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, you know, had kids and everything when they do. Oh wow! See, 
They might have been, the yeah, they might have been soulmates. That's the same situation. Yeah, they still together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They just might have been soulmates was meant to be together. That's how they had to find each other. Right. Common denominator. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. But yeah, so well before we end this episode, everybody. Um Oh, I definitely wanted to send, let's send our prayers over um, to the Ukrainian citizens um, and the situation that they are currently involved in um, with uh, Vladimir Putin and the Russian army invading their country, basically trying to take over ownership of that country. We never want to, you know, see (coughs) people of the world in these other countries experience things like that. Um, But it has definitely gotten serious uh, within this last 24 to 48 hours. Uh, They've been bombing the country. Um, they're bombing like their their main major airports and stuff like that. So I definitely wanted to take the opportunity to just um, you know, send out some prayers over to them. It's a shame that we have to kind of go through stuff like this. The world, the world does, and it's just and it all just kind of boils down to power. People just have this greed for power. What you think about that situation? Real quick. Uh, yeah, that's a greed for power. And then I was doing a little research. I think before, when uh, Russia, I think Russia, they used to be a part of Russia at one time. Am I not mistaken? I believe so. Yeah, I believe that they used to be, and then they was basically was separated from them. But now, um, you're saying Russia want them back now. Yeah, Russia want to try to, you know, definitely get them back. But I think that now, um, they basically, you know, they've come out and basically stated that you know they're going to be <coughs> NATO is going to be doing some heavy sanctioning on Russia um, and that they will have lots of uh, consequences at this point to pay um, for, you know, basically going over there and, and starting this this war with the Ukrainian people. And Putin said, you get in this, you're going to see something you ain't never saw before. <laughs> Yeah, it's like what is he on? And then, tr- and then Trump, he gets online today. Uh, well, not online, but Trump basically t- say that none of this probably would ever have happened if he was still the president. Cause you know him and Putin was kind of buddy buddy. Yeah, cause he probably was in with whatever Putin on. You know what I'm saying? He probably was in on it. It was they had some going, some type of deal going on, right? Together, <laughs> you know that that they were doing together. Yeah, some kind of joint adventure. Yeah, it's sad yeah. though. It's 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 definitely sad. So, you know, all of you guys, just pray. Definitely pray. Um, you know, I don't know. United States, I think, should definitely maybe stay out of it. <laughs> you know, as much as they possibly can. Um, sometimes we have to, you know, let let other countries just do what they're going to do. Um, but, again, I think everything still, like I said, at the end of the day, just kind of boils down to power and who has the most power and control. And I think that is what this is somewhat all about. But keep Ukrainian people in your prayers for sure. And we are going to get ready to head up out of here. And we will see you guys on the next episode. 
don't forget to follow subscribe stream on all platforms um follow our social media platforms as well too you can find us at str the number eight f w d m s b um on social media platforms and until next week we will see you guys say bye bye ag Peace.